After a disastrous launch and years of delays, Russia's mysterious Project 0951 submarine has emerged, ready to be added to the Russian naval fleet. Called the K-571 Krasnoyarsk, the ship is the latest M variant of the Yasin-class submarine built to challenge the U.S. Navy's Block B Virginia for undersea supremacy. As the Russian Navy continues to grow its arsenal of nuclear submarines, K-571 is expected to be among the most threatening. It is allegedly armed with hypersonic Zircon anti-ship missiles, capable of speeds over 11,000 kilometers per hour, which Russia hopes can knock out enemy aircraft carriers. Further details about K-571 and the upgraded Yasin M class remain highly secret. The Krasnoyarsk was even launched with part of the submarine hidden from view in a deliberate move to veil the stealth technologies engineered into it. The clandestine debut of K-571, with its propellers shrouded in secrecy, hints at a silent yet potent shift brewing in the deep. As the veil of mystery thickens around the Russian underwater enigma, the U.S. can only speculate on the extent of the tidal wave of change looming on the horizon. But of course, with Russia, you never know if the technology actually works. Race for Underwater Supremacy Following World War II, submarines emerged as a critical facet of naval warfare. The conflict had showcased their potential for both reconnaissance and combat missions, and their technology eventually underwent a rapid evolution, with the most significant advancement being the introduction of nuclear power. Unlike diesel submarines that had to surface frequently to recharge batteries, these vessels could remain submerged almost indefinitely, powered by reactors that only needed refueling once every 20 to 30 years. Nuclear propulsion enabled higher sustained speeds, while also being quieter when running deep, making them harder to detect and counter. USS Nautilus, launched in 1954, became the first nuclear-powered submarine, marking the dawn of a new era in naval capabilities. Since then, these types of vessels have become truly global assets for naval forces. Moreover, submarine technology became a critical part of the strategic arms race between the United States and the Soviet Union as the Cold War ensued. Both superpowers invested heavily in developing their submarine fleets, but it was the former that ultimately gained dominance. American supremacy in submarine warfare was born of relentless technological innovation and a robust military manufacturing industry. Yet, ever in their shadow, the Soviets maintained a relentless pursuit a constant second in the race for submarine dominion. The U.S. also introduced ballistic missile submarines, or SSBNs, vessels armed with nuclear missiles that provided a potent second strike capability, serving as a crucial component of the nuclear deterrent strategy. By the 1960s, the U.S. commanded a fleet of over 30 SSBN submarines, each capable of delivering 16 Polaris nuclear missiles. The U.S. also held an edge in attack submarines, designed to hunt and destroy enemy submarines and ships, further bolstering their dominance. Soon, it was clear that the U.S. had gained the upper hand in the submarine race, with its Navy operating a fleet of close to 70 submarines, including the latest Virginia class. Russia Strikes Back For decades, the U.S. and Russia have been locked in a chilling game of naval chess, each striving to develop submarines that would give them the upper hand in a potential showdown. In the 1960s, Russia unveiled the Alpha-class submarines, the swift and elusive sharks of the Arctic, capable of tearing through the water at over 40 knots. Their titanium hulls and liquid metal-cooled reactors represented a technological leap that, for a moment, appeared to give them an advantage over their American counterparts. However, the U.S. responded with its own masterpiece, the Thresher class, a beacon of sonar technology and nuclear-powered endurance. But disaster struck in 1963 when USS Thresher tragically imploded under a testing dive, reminding the world of the stakes of the game. Years later, in the 1980s, Russia brought forth the Typhoon class, colossal vessels larger than a football field that could carry 20 intercontinental ballistic missiles, each tipped with nuclear warheads. The sheer size and firepower of these nuclear-armed powerhouses momentarily dwarfed anything in the U.S. arsenal and gave Russia a tantalizing glimpse of submarine supremacy. Soon, however, the U.S. countered with strategy over size, unveiling the Ohio-class submarines. Their stealth, accuracy, and Trident II D-5 missiles with nuclear warheads set new standards in undersea warfare, ensuring a constant balance of power in the deep. 
The U.S. had smaller, less powerful submarines, but it had more of them, better connected, eerily silent, and capable of outmaneuvering any Russian submarine. The new millennium then brought the American Virginia-class submarines. These versatile giants, capable of operating in shallow waters and delivering special forces, expanded the battlefield beyond traditional borders. In a strategic countermove, Russia introduced the Yasen class. With their enhanced stealth technology and formidable arsenal of cruise missiles and torpedoes, these submarines threatened to upset the balance of power once more. Today, the echoes of the Cold War still resonate in the depths of the ocean. Russia is actively testing its most advanced creation to date, the Yasen M class submarines. The tension in international waters is palpable, and the stakes continue to rise. Yasen M. The Yasen M class submarines are an embodiment of maritime warfare evolution, representing years of relentless research and design by Russian engineers. This cutting edge submarine line builds on top of the formidable Yasen class with decisive armament upgrades, sophisticated onboard electronics, meticulous hull optimizations, and overall design adjustments which work in unison to deliver unparalleled performance and drastically reduce its acoustic signature. The Yasen M class, with its new single hull design, common among Western submarines, pushes the envelope in submarine stealth. Clocking an impressive underwater speed of around 28 knots in a completely silent mode, it is always ready to strike with lethal precision. The class is also constructed with low magnetic steel and equipped with advanced quieting technology. And underneath the submarine's imposing exterior, they are powered by a groundbreaking fourth-generation nuclear reactor. Alongside its technological prowess, the class is armed with an array of devastating weaponry. This includes surface attack cruise missiles, anti-ship missiles, and anti-submarine missiles. Moreover, its 10 vertical launch system silos can support as many as 32 Onyx or 40 Caliber PL anti-ship cruise missiles. Even so, its arsenal's crown jewel is the formidable 3M22 Sirkan winged anti-ship hypersonic cruise missile, the pinnacle in Russia's current missile industry. First tested in 2020, the Sirkan, designed to attack both naval and ground targets, has a maximum speed of Mach 9, and it can strike targets up to an estimated 620 miles away. Together, the Sirkan weapon and the Yasen M class could potentially pose a significant threat to U.S. carrier strike groups and shake the foundations of current U.S. and NATO missile defenses. Krasnoyarsk Krasnoyarsk, the latest example in the revolutionary Yasen M class, is rumored to have the potential to outclass any submarine in existence. Emerging from the Shevma shipyard in Severodvinsk on July 30th, 2021, the nuclear-powered submarine was launched amidst a solemn ceremony. This monumental event coincided with the 325th anniversary of the Russian regular fleet. Her future commander, Captain Second Rank Ivan Artyushi, followed tradition by smashing a bottle against her board, symbolizing her baptism into the maritime world. In June 2022, Krasnoyarsk left the Sepma shipyard for the first sea trials in the White Sea, nestled within the Arctic Ocean's icy confines. There, her seaworthiness and performance characteristics would be put to the test against the designated parameters, fine-tuning her capabilities in real-world conditions. It is no surprise that Krasnoyarsk's potential capabilities have inspired a mixture of awe and concern among Western officials. Even the U.S. Navy's top submarine officer, Rear Admiral Dave Johnson, who described her class as a formidable adversary, reportedly made a replica of the Severodvinsk, the first vessel of the Yasen class, using unclassified data to view it every day on his way to work. Meanwhile, the head of the United States Northern Command, General Glenn Van Herc, painted a stark picture of the future to the Senate Armed Services Committee. He warned that submarines like that could be patrolling off the U.S. coasts as early as 2025, posing a persistent threat. Emphasizing the escalating risk, Van Herc then called for an expansion of U.S. operations in the Arctic. Meanwhile, Russia continues to modernize its assets in the region, and in Van Herc's view, the U.S. is unprepared for the challenges ahead, adding that, quote, we as a nation are in bad shape regarding icebreakers. We need to go faster. Russia has relentlessly improved its submarine fleet since the Soviet Union's collapse. And as announced by Vladimir Putin in December 2022, more nuclear-powered submarines will be constructed, aiming to ensure Russia's security for decades. Krasnoyarsk's launch, however, is only a small piece of a much larger puzzle that calls for the wider modernization of the Russian Navy's nuclear-powered submarine force. 
a process that has been creeping slowly but surely in the past few decades. With the emergence of Krasnoyarsk, the world may be witnessing a significant shift in underwater dominance.